Hi, this is Tom Lau. I'm with Doctors UBI. And today we're going to have a little lesson on machines. Uh, UBI machines are machines that are used for such. And there are quite a few out there, and I've got uh, a number of them here. And I wanted you to know because I hear a lot of things about people talking about machines. And quite frankly, they don't know what they're talking about. So take it from me, we've done uh, tens of thousands of dollars of research on different machines, taking a look at them and how to make them more effective. So let's just take the old standby here. This is the Umatron, German made. And I know there's a knockoff, I think, coming from Canada too, or maybe it's a Umatron. It has two UVC bulbs in it. You could have a UVA bulb in there too. Um, German made, works fine, been around 30 plus years. This is the bulb that they put in there. And if you can see, I don't know if you can, but there's electrodes here. Now you have to get past the electrodes a little bit to get the full energy that goes into the blood for a UBI. These only have about three and a half inches of full energy. So the Umatron is good, it's been around, it's worked. Um, but uh, there have been other ones. This is the Kastner unit. Uh, I think some of it called the Aqua Pro or Aqua something. Another one uh, that uh, is a knockoff out of Canada. Um, this has one UVA bulb. Now, that's really not enough energy. Uh, in fact, it may not be the right kind of energy. It is an immune stimulant. Now, what makes this one so attractive? Well, not much besides the discolors in time. Um, is that it's got a digital readout. We can know how long it's going. And it also has a uh, sensor right here. This sensor will tell you when the bulb is starting to fail. Well, these bulbs are rated for 7,000 hours. That's like 10 treatments for 10 years before they lose uh, about 80%. They still have 80%. They lose about 20% of their light. They shouldn't cost much more than about $15 per bulb. Um, so I don't know if there's a big advantage to have a little sensor down in there and pay for all that money just for a sensor and have one bulb. Uh, this is a problem too because a very small cuvette and we'll talk about cuvettes in a little bit uh, in another session. Um, so there's three. Uh, let's go to this one. This is a, a four bulb unit. Um, you can see that there is a, a C bulb. These are germicidal and a UVA and a UVB uh, filling the full spectrum. In fact, this has some visible light to it. It has a counter so you can tell how long things have been on and off, reflectors on it. A very sturdy made unit, um, nice unit, uses a six inch cuvette and one that has a turbulator and we'll talk about those in the next lesson. And this is kind of the big daddy, the common one that's used. Uh, this has four 12 inch bulbs. You can speed up the therapy, uh, the time that it takes to go within and the bulb lays right down in here. And here's your upper bulb C and then an A and a B. Uh, same as the other one pretty much except it's the daddy version with the 12 bulb. Now you need uh, a good amount of energy to inactivate uh, the, the tough viruses that are out there. Uh, this and this unit will do it. This unit will actually do it. These are questionable uh, unless you speed, slow the speed down. And cuvettes really make a lot of difference too. There's a little primer on the machines that are out there. There's a flat one out there, a flat bulb. We'll, I'll show you that, or flat cuvette. Next time too, uh, it's the old uh, Carl Schleicher unit. Uh, Bob Clark modified it a little bit and uh, you have to hook tubes up to the uh, cuvette itself and then clean the cuvette. Not real attractive. These all have disposable cuvettes so it's a blood product and you get done with it one use, throw it out. But these are the units that are out there. Um, this is probably first choice, second choice, third choice, fourth choice. This one's the worst one of all. One, one bulb. Yikes. Anyway, there you go. A little primer on UBI units.